Hello! Uh, exit pursued by ninjas here. Um, you may be wondering about the logic of this really fetching hat. Um, well, basically, it's to disguise my revolting hair. Um, I was cycling today with a helmet on, because safety first always, and, you know, if I get knocked off, I don't really want to die. Um, so, yes, um, the enduring problem of humanity, ever since we started fighting wars while wearing helmets, and then when we started cycling, um, we've all had to deal with, at some point in our lives, helmet hair. And this is a problem which is affecting me quite a lot at the moment, because I have quite short hair, and when it goes funny, you can kind of tell quite badly. It just goes... <laughs> Uh, not that far. It's more like... So, yes, but this hat, um, this hat I bought from a festival, um, I, I can do that with it. Um, but over the, over the years, over the two years I've had it, um, it's kind of served me well. Um, the only problem with hats is that they always itch. Invariably. Like... You cannot do anything about the itching of the hat, um, especially here because there's a line. There's like a wool braid thing, and I'm kind of allergic to wool. Um, I think everyone is kind of allergic to wool. I don't know anyone who can who can wear one of these without itching. I, I reckon once you get to a certain like level of fame, you stop experiencing sensations like itching because you know they're for commoners. You never, you never see like, you never see Kate Winslet scratching her ass or, uh, like posh footling around and like trying to find a, the one bit that's itchy. I uh, yeah, um, David Beckham, you do see scratching his nuts, but you know, um, so I think I think what I've started talking about is elegance and. Um, I don't really want to keep talking about elegance because I haven't really got much to talk about uh, in that area. I suppose, you know, once you become a certain way, you know, you, you acquire elegance. I think it's something something similar to being gentlemanly. Um, it's at what point you stop being called a bloke and start being called a gentleman or a gent. Um, I imagine that's when you start shopping in Jack Wills, although I fucking hate Jack Wills, because if you've ever been in there, it's full of books, right? Books everywhere. You can't buy the books, they're just there for decoration. In fact, they're all stuck together. Nobody's going to ever read those books ever again. And, like, it's just so fucking self-conscious. When I, uh, I went in one in Nottingham to sort of... Because my mate had gone in and he's like obsessed with Jack Wills and I didn't really want to stand outside because there was a funny man um, with a sign. And yeah, I, I went in and I thought, bloody hell. Because it's like, it's like um, there's wooden floorboards and uh, rugs and everything's laid out on a, on a big chest. And then there's a, um, a, a reindeer on the wall with like stuff hanging off it. It's just ridiculous. Um, such an abuse of books. I just don't understand it. A waste. A waste, you see, of good literature. I say this while wearing a hat. Um, so, yes. Um, and again, I've forgotten what I was talking about. So... Oh, um, yes, I did get abused about this hat once, slightly. I had the mick taken out of me by one of my teachers. Um, he, he said, uh, that's an interesting looking hat. And I said, well, uh, I'll have you know that I've pulled in this hat. And, uh, and he said, what, a truck? So that was nice. Um, but having said that, if I was going to pull a truck... This is probably what I'd wear. I am also wearing a very fat, fetching man jacket, uh, which is actually a man jacket for men. But it's basically, yeah, uh, 
another thing I got off my next door neighbour, who is a man. Um, yes. So, elegance. That, that appears to be the thought for the day. Uh, I wonder if anyone has any, because please tell me if you do. I'd like to know how one gets it. Um, and yes, so, uh, goodbye. Eventually. Oh, I've had to, um, because I have this awful and quite vain habit of, like, looking at the screen rather than looking at the camera, I have to, um, put solitaire up, uh, because that's green, and, uh, and look at that instead, because otherwise I will end up looking at my face. Um, I think that's instinct. I hope it's not just me being vain. Um, yes. I'm not entirely sure that, like, like what I see on the screen is the same as what I see in my head because you know in my head I'm this incredibly tall leggy blonde and in real life um, I'm sort of meh that uh, that's not the worst side I'm not gonna let the other side out because it's literally Ken Dodd's pubes and um so anyway uh goodbye <laughs>